Well, I just thought I'd do another little video in the shed. Uh, um, might be three days in a row now. Uh, because I'm uh, sitting out here, um, uh, because I only like to have a drink out here, because if I drink inside the house, then, you know, basically my whole life uh, revolves around drinking. Uh, but um, I made some notes for this little one here, and that was because uh, my big fat mate, uh, Mark, um, uh, who's been my mate for 30 years or so, came and visited just recently and got me sucked into MasterChef. And I always vowed I wasn't going to get sucked into those sort of things. Um, uh, and so I was watching it tonight and I was, you know, texting back and forward to him uh, because we all think Poe is a plant, uh, yeah, not as in uh, some sort of organic material, organic material that grows in your driveway, but that she's there just to get ratings. And um, the thing that uh, we noticed, it was an elimination thing tonight. I'm going to try and make this really quick. I've already gone one minute. Oh, kill me. And uh, what it was is that... Uh, they were all in the COVID-19 uh, um, social distancing, which is not really social distancing. It shouldn't be called that. It should be called spatial distancing um, uh, because it's, you still don't have to uh, be socially distant from the people that you're with, uh, which I experienced the other day when I was in Audi because I stood for four and a half minutes be um, behind people who were talking in an aisle, and I just decided oh, I'd just stand there and I, I'd be patient. And I was. And they looked over at me and they smiled and they nodded and all that, but they still stopped and talked to each other all about 30 centimetres away. Um, so uh, if COVID-19 ever comes up here to the Riverland, uh, we're basically all dead. Um, and uh, I saw in MasterChef uh, when somebody got eliminated. I think her name was Jess. She was a lovely girl and she was only 22 years old. Um, which I think, you know, probably a life's old, uh, already over because the media's destroyed it. I've just realised I haven't got a cap on or anything like that uh, tonight, so you can see that I really am the wild man from Borneo. Um, and uh, when she was eliminated, she burst into tears. And uh, it was really quite heartfelt tears. She's only 22 years old, crikey. Uh, all my daughters are older than that. And uh, what happened is that um, everyone... Had wanted to console her, but they couldn't because they were really obeying the social distancing rules. And what they did do was they said nice things and they looked into her eyes and they looked at each other. And I sort of thought there were no platitudes of hugs and there were no, you know, mm, mm, kiss you on the cheeks and uh, I'll hug because I'm on television. Um, I found it to be quite real because when you can't touch somebody um, uh, um, it creates that social distancing that makes you feel isolated. However, these people tonight, because it was so heartfelt, um, said things. They looked in each other's faces. They actually looked at each other. And I think that's an important thing that we can all learn from. Well, no, that's true. I'm lecturing again. Kill me for my lecturings. What I observed on um, uh, TV tonight on a, a, a silly show, Master Chef, because food should be about sharing and joy, not about how you present it and plating up. If I hear the word plating up one more time, I think I'm just going to stab myself. You know, just put it on the plate. Um... I think one of the things that's come out of it is that uh, we're all going to learn to express ourselves without having to give platitudes of false kisses and false hugs and false handshakes because when you're not doing that, you have to look each other in the eye. And I saw tonight on what is a pretty silly show, a reality show that's not real at all, is these people were forced into reality, which is having to face each other genuinely. And uh, I just liked it and I um, text my mate, uh, abusing him for getting me addicted to this uh, piece of foolish television. And also I've now gone almost four minutes, crikey. Nobody watches anything for four minutes. So it's just another little one of my in the shed thoughts uh, about how I'm thinking about stuff. And I hope you enjoyed it. So, 
Um, I will now go back to what I was doing, which was uh, finishing off my walking staffs. So when you go walking, you've got to have a stick. So I'm now making specific staffs to walk with. All right. Bye.